So I've been thinking about some of the side project and at end things that I do. And maybe it might be a good idea to just record some of that stuff because it might be helpful for some people. Um, I'll give you some examples in a bit. And so I was thinking like, okay, then I could post that. And then once I started thinking about where I'm going to post it, then I had to come up with like a playlist. So um, I decided I'll just create a play playlist called Just Stuff. So what about this playlist? Well, it's going to be a place for uncategorized or random projects. Like I said, sometimes I do stuff and you get better idea as I go through this. Um, so this is the introductory video for this playlist. You're going to get an idea of what it is that I might post in this playlist. And so, first of all, it's going to be uncategorized and, like I said, random projects. So I'm not making any commitment to a deadline of how often I'm going to post on this playlist. I'll post stuff when I have something and there's not going to be a team. So this goes back to the idea that it's uncategorized, it's random. So why would I, why would you even want to follow this list? There's, there's no deadline, no team. And what am I posting here that you might be interesting to you and why I thought that maybe I should post it. And these are things that I encounter at investigation that I do. So sometimes I, I find things that I don't know what I really want to do with it. So I might spend a weekend or two playing with it and then I'll put it down and then it would be years later until I pick it up again. Actually, I did that with Go. When Go first came out, I played with Go for a couple of months and then I put it away for a long time and it was years later that I picked it up. Um, in the past, I've done this with a number of other languages. I played with a language Kotlin last year, Julia. A um, few years ago, I played with a language called Nim. So these would be things that if I had this playlist, I would have recorded them and then maybe someone else might be exposed to those projects and they oh, take it and run with it, right? Um, some of these projects, some of the things I play with, they're sort of quite short. Um, maybe I wrap them up in a week or two or something. And then some of them are just sort of open-ended. I start playing with it and then I just sort of leave it there for a while before I can get time to come back to it. So here are some examples of some things that I've done either recently or in a recent past that now that I look back on it, I was like, hey, maybe someone would have been interested in it. Um, I set up a media center uh, on Raspberry Pi, several of them actually, I've been doing this for years, so maybe at least six years, seven years, I've been um, using Raspberry Pi as a media center server. So there's an example of you know some, setting up um, a media center on Raspberry Pi. So earlier this year, I set up a PBX. Uh, so it's, it's basically think of it as a phone um, uh, branch office, like, you know, like a exchange, phone exchange. I wanted my son to have the experience of picking up like a, a phone with a receiver and dialing, but this is not rotary dial phone. So I bought some um, Grandstream's IP phones and um, soft phone on my desktop and so on. I could connect to the PBX and he can, we can call each other, right? From soft phone or from the actual phones he has one in his room, you can pick. And if you look at it, you'll think I have like a landline, but I do not have landline. This is just internal within the house, you just like setting up your own, um, you know, um, intercom essentially. But instead of pressing a button like an intercom, it's like you're using a, a phone. And so you can call it, you can put some, you know, in different rooms in your house and all this other stuff if you're into that sort of silly stuff. A couple of years ago, uh, I wanted to do like a homemade doorbell. And the reason why is because I look at the doorbells with cameras and I like those, but all those, uh, all the ones I found um, at some monthly subscription or they send your data to the cloud. And so I wanted a doorbell that does not upload data to the cloud or doesn't require some kind of subscription. And so I was trying to make one. So I bought a Raspberry Pi Zero and I bought a camera for it. There's a Raspberry Pi camera that you can get and it's easy to use and everything like that. I got the camera on and the problem was that the system was a little too low um, powered in terms of the CPU and so on to keep up with the video. Like it still pictures, it can work fine. It's things some great still pictures, but to, to actually stream video, it was really, really bad. So that was a total failure, but at least it would have been a nice project to show you. Um, but I eventually used that same Raspberry Pi and run this thing called Node Red on it. Uh, and I was able to set it to take a picture, send it up to Google, and then they would process that image and send you back the labels. So for example, if I took a picture of um, my microphone or a phone, it would send back all the guesses that it thinks it is and uh, confidence you know, factor, basically, 
or how confident they think um, it is that particular thing, you know, a phone or a microphone or whatever, computers, that sort of thing. But anyway, so that's a kind of cool project because you could imagine um, setting up something that takes picture and then maybe do some process there. One of the things I wanted to do with this was to have it point into my stove and periodically take pictures. And if there wasn't any pot on the stove, like it would look at the knobs to see, well, okay, since there's no pot on, there's no pot on the stove, um, are the knobs off? And if they're not off, then like send an alarm or a message or something like that. Some of the stuff that I just showed is like automation. So, um, but this playlist is going to be really broad in terms of teams. And so here's some possible things, right? Automation we just cover. Programming language, like I mentioned this before, a couple of years ago, I looked at this programming language, NIMP. All this earlier this year, I was looking at Kotlin and Rust and um, and Julia. And so those are maybe something when I was playing with them or my opinion of them, I could have shown those. Or maybe when I'm ready to look at them again, maybe I don't want to start from scratch with those. So earlier this year, I bought this camera called Waze, W-Y-Z-E. Um, it's like a $25 camera. And I play with it a little bit. Of course, I don't have any videos to show you. But um, I ended up not liking it and returned it because there was something about it that I didn't really trust. But at least, um, you know, I've been able to show you that. Security, you know, um, sometimes I fool around with things I have to do with security. And I'm not quite really ready to put them as part of one of my the, the classes or the other streams, programming things I have, like, you know, to go on the run or um, learn in Dart. So, for example, a couple months ago, I was playing with something called Keycloak which is also something I played with a couple years ago and then sort of put it down and then now I'm playing with it again for other reasons. Uh, we might introduce it in um, Go on the Run in our section on security. That's the plan. But that's an example of something that I play with along the line of security. A couple years ago, I was playing with um, JSON Web Token. So, uh, you know, those would be things that I play with that I don't really know where it fit in and maybe I can post on that.